Hey guys, so for this video, we're going to look at a bunch of different ways to improve your FPS and reduce your input lag. Ever since the beginning of Season X, Fortnite has had a ton of optimization problems and frame rates are at an all-time low. Even with all the past FPS optimization tricks I've covered, I was still getting really low and unstable frames. By now, most of you should know the benefits of getting higher FPS, including smoother and better overall gameplay, but you may not know a lot about input lag. This is the delay between any input you make on your controller or keyboard and mouse, and then how long it takes for your game to actually register it. With less input lag, your game will feel more responsive, and you'll be able to build and edit much quicker as a result. That's essentially our end goal here, and exactly what the tips and tricks I'm about to show will help us achieve. So without further ado, let's start with the first settings option that will help us improve our FPS and decrease our input delay. Low Latency Mode This is a new setting within your graphics card that Nvidia released a week or two ago. If you have an AMD graphics card instead, do not worry because I'm also going to cover how to enable a very similar setting within Radeon cards. Right now though, we're going to look at Nvidia cards. So the first thing you need to do is update your drivers. Nvidia literally just released this, which means if you're someone who doesn't frequently update their drivers, you probably won't have this option available to you. To update your drivers, you can do one of two things. You could either go to Nvidia's website, nvidia.com, and then go over to GeForce drivers. Because this is the manual way, go down to search, put in your graphics card, so I have a 1070 Ti, and then press search. All the GeForce game ready drivers should come up in order of when they came out. You can also see all their release dates, so choose the most recent one at the top and click download. The other way is to go through your GeForce Experience application. I have mine on my desktop, but you can also search for it through your Cortana search and it should come up if you have it installed. Once it loads up, click the drivers tab at the top and then you should see the name of the most recent driver along with the download button. By the way, this is the same exact GeForce game ready driver from the website. After you hit the download button, it'll take a couple of minutes and then you'll need to manually install it. Select the express installation because it's the fastest and easiest way, and once it's fully installed on your PC, you'll get an installation complete message. We can now move on to actually enabling the new low latency setting. To do that, right click on your desktop and go to your NVIDIA control panel. On the left, go to the manage 3D settings tab and go to the global settings. You're gonna have to scroll down a bit and under the DSR smoothness setting, you should see the setting that's about to change your life, low latency mode. You want to select it and turn it to ultra to get the most FPS and the least amount of input lag possible. Also, make sure you hit apply to save your changes and boom, you're all finished. So what exactly does ultra low latency mode do? According to Nvidia, it reduces your latency, which is just another word for input lag, by up to 33%. What's happening here is it forces your PC to send frames to be rendered before the GPU actually needs them, meaning they'll end up being displayed faster, leading to more FPS and less delay. This chart here shows the amount of graphic latency you'll have when playing different games including Fortnite at the center. You can see when low latency mode is set to ultra, you get half as much input lag compared to when it's off. In my own experience, when I first enabled this, my game definitely felt more responsive. It was very similar to when I switched from 144Hz to 240Hz, where it wasn't a huge difference, but things like building and editing definitely felt quicker. The thing is, this is more for lower end machines, meaning those of you on laptops or not as powerful computers will really benefit from turning this to ultra. But what if you have an AMD card? AMD basically has the same setting of its own called anti-lag. In order to turn it on, right click on your desktop and go to AMD Radeon settings. Click on gaming and all your games should appear including Fortnite. By the way, I don't have AMD, so the guy who recorded this does it for GTA, but it's the same exact process. Anyways, click on Fortnite, and towards the bottom, you should see a Radeon anti-lag option. It's set to off by default, so turn that from off to on, and you're all set. So to sum it all up, whether you have Nvidia or AMD, turn the low latency mode to ultra or anti-lag mode to on, and you'll instantly see and feel a difference in response time and frame rates. The next trick we're going to use is found by searching graphic settings in your Windows search. Hit browse and then find where you have Fortnite saved. 
It should be in a folder on your C drive named Epic Games. From there, click Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and then select the Fortnite client that ends with a shipping and nothing else. Add it, and finally, from the option settings, select High Performance. This is a decently new feature from Windows that allows you to manage the energy and GPU performance of any certain application. By putting it on high performance, we're making it so more of our graphics cards are being used for Fortnite specifically. And since we're on the topic of Windows settings, and some of you might not see the last one on your own PC, a very useful and overlooked tip for improving your FPS is to make sure your Windows is updated. To check if you're on the latest version, search Winver in your Windows search, press enter, and then the About Windows tab will pop up. On the second line, it should tell you what version of Windows your PC is currently running. As you can see, I'm on the latest version, which is version 1903 at the time I'm making this video. Version 1903 rolled out in June of this year, and I know a ton of you guys, including my lazy brother, absolutely never update their PCs and Windows, meaning you're probably not on it. You'll know if your Windows isn't updated if the version is anything less than 1903, like 1803 for example. If it's equal to or higher than 1903, then you're good. In order to update Windows, press the Windows Start button, then go to Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update, and select Check for Updates. At that point, it will tell you if and what updates you need if there are any, or it'll tell you you're all set on the latest version of Windows. Trust me boys, I know there's a stigma around updating Windows because it may take a while or it can be annoying and buggy, but updating to the latest version of 1903 or better has helped a ton of people on Reddit improve their FPS. I don't know about you guys, but for me, for some weird reason, I was getting a ton of random FPS drops in the middle of games. This would make my gameplay look choppy when I watched it back, and it was really pissing me off because it was ruining nice clips. After a week or so of that happening consistently, I decided to update my Windows, and it hasn't been a problem ever since. Again, trust me boys, you gotta swallow your pride and update your Windows because it really does help your PC and Fortnite's performance. Another helpful Windows option is to change your power plan. In one of my other FPS boost guides, I said to change your power plan to high performance. That was until a commenter told me about a plan called ultimate performance. To turn this on, go down to your Windows settings once again, but this time go to the power and sleep settings. Then click the tiny additional power settings tab and you'll have the option to choose or customize your plan. The ultimate performance option won't automatically show up, so you gotta press the show additional plans drop down to find it. This plan is an optimized version of the high performance plan that squeezes all the extra power out of your PC and helps eliminate any micro latencies. I believe most desktops and powerful machines will have this option available, but because laptops are battery powered, it won't show up for you guys at all. Luckily, there is a way to enable it. In the Windows search, type CMD, then right click the command prompt result and choose run as administrator. It is extremely important that you guys run it as an administrator or else it will not work. Then copy the command I will leave in the description that should look like this and paste it into the box. Hit enter and you'll then have the option for ultimate performance mode when you didn't before. The second to last trick I'll cover is a way to get more FPS while you're using Discord or Spotify. Anytime you use either of those apps while playing, they actually use a ton of your GPU by default. What we want to do is to turn this setting off, because both of them eat up a solid 20 to 30 FPS when left alone. For Discord, go to the user settings option on the bottom left by your name. On the left side, go down to appearance, and then you'll have to scroll down again to the advanced settings where you'll finally see the hardware acceleration option. If the setting is blue, that means it's on, so turn it off for those sweet FPS gains. For Spotify, go to the app and click on settings. From there, click advanced settings, compatibility, and uncheck enable hardware acceleration. If you're someone who listens to music while they play or talks to their friends on Discord, then make sure you go and disable hardware acceleration. 
The last and final trick is a weird trick that not many people know about, mainly because I can't really explain how it works, but for some reason it does. What you want to do is anytime your game starts dropping frames more than usual, go to your settings and put it in windowed mode. Then switch it back to full screen mode. I'm not even kidding, this is probably the best and fastest fix out of any of the tricks I've covered. And if you don't believe me, here's Booga doing it in the middle of a pro scrim. Overall, all of these methods will definitely help you guys get better FPS and lower input lag. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Thank you to everyone using code Jarian. Remember to get shouted out. All you need to do is send a picture of you guys using my code to my Instagram or Twitter. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.